red balloons of Nord have just hit the air, Port Adelaide's black and white ones have gone. And for the benefit of interstate viewers, that is the Port Adelaide side. White shorts with black and white stripes on their Guernseys. As we see an aerial shot of football park, Peter Marker, a magnificent sight. Tremendous, Ian. Uh, tremendous indeed. And uh, that point about the toss, I'd say the breeze would be worth anything up to six goals at the moment. Port Adelaide in the black and white. 80 grand final, Norwood versus Port Adelaide, your commentator Ian Aitken. Nat and Dell at six foot four versus six three and a half. If Nat at six four and a half and the whistle is gone and another bounce down will take place under the guidance of umpire Des Foster. Very nicely here by Winter. Winter goes towards centre half four. Phillips getting underneath the ball and takes yet another mark. Greg Phillips from centre half back goes looking for Boyd, almost intercepted by Aish. The running power is Eckerman down the outer side, but he's going for Kinnear. Port Adelaide wingman, well clear, Kinnear. Long handball out to Captain Cunningham. He's going to run into trouble through Stamper. Pushes out the, par the bump. Kinnear. Kinnear's kicked out towards the half forward, looking for Brian Cunningham, finds a little rover. The captain of Port Adelaide slips it across towards centre half forward. Williams is over there, he gathers it in, but he offends with uh, Gallagher, and Gallagher will take the free kick from centre half back. He gets the run now from Phillips. He's at centre half back. Ebert trying to draw the player. Ebert's there now. Port Adelaide with method. Building beautifully. Evans is on the lead. But Ebert has had three bounces. He's going for home with a long kick in towards full forward. his way through, hooks the ball back towards full forward, Evans and Stasinowski, the bounce favours Aegis into the open goal, and in goal! Well done Los Aegis, read it beautifully. Stemper, it bounces favourably for Boyd, on it goes to Darrell Cale, puts it out the front for Evans, over the top of the head it goes, Aegis is streaking in, down it goes, here's the chance for Evans, and I think it's gone through. Again, the handball ineffective. Thomas around the corner. All Port Adelaide back there. Bradmore can't take it. Made a mistake. Oh, beautiful handball. Right. And what a goal, Norwood. Oh, that's good with a grand final. That type of football. A brilliant interception and goal. Ace is second. And the legs hit the front. 6-7 to 5-7. All day and they're getting away with it. You play to the whistle, Peter. Abernethy's 11th kick going in towards full forward. They seem to have little to fire out up there. Ages at the back of the pack. Angle shoots. I think he's got another one. Oh, what a goal! Magnificent effort. That's his third goal. Ross Ages, really at his brilliant best. He's clear midfield, but he's going over that player's head. Kinnear caught Adelaide into attack with two long kicks. Up towards Dolan, full forward. Great right back. He cut across beautifully over the top of Bruce Winter and pulled down the mark at the second grab about 15, 20 metres out. And what an important kick for the Magpies. Three points down, three minutes into the final quarter. The Port Adelaide playmaker chips away, has converted. Clifford's first goal. And Port Adelaide hit the front in the final. 7 12 54. Leave Norwood 7-9-51. It's incredible that a, that a kick for God. Australia in his first year as coach. Armour, Aegis. Great tackle there by A. Scott for holding the ball. And we see Dunstan and Clifford, the two former VFL players, having a few well-chosen words. 7-9. The fourth behind to Milan Philetic as Dunstan appears to have found a bit of legs. Getting away from Abernethy. No, he's not. Pretty good kick for goal, Bruce Abernethy. 11th kick coming up. The kick from Abernethy is a beauty straight through the middle. And that's his first. The brilliant Bruce has pulled up his first. And Port Adelaide up. Eight goals, 13. Norwood, seven goals, nine in the grand final. For the chance now, through Phillips, going in long. 
Out comes Dolan. The big fellow crashes. Clifford walks around the corner. Coming back to the corner. They don't come any better than that. And what a time to do it in the last quarter of the grand final. And Bomber Clifford has kicked goal number two. And given this away. The kick towards Steele on the half forward line. Watch back up support. Gets it for Menzel. Menzel to Woodcock. 30 metres out. Heads for home. Good bounce, Taylor takes it, taken by Williams, out it comes, past it goes, Boyd's got to go past one, has a look at the goals, has a kick at the goals, and Port Adelaide goes six points clear, and that's the first kick off the boot of Gregory Boyd. Half forward right flank, not a lot of movement in his forward area, kicks in Hope, up towards the half forward line, in goes Williams, the left foot kick away, good bounce, three! His first goal, and Port Adelaide kicked clear again in the 1980 Grand Final. Arnold. Arnold keeps it in play. Dolan's back there. Teal. Dolan gets mixed up. Teal tackle. Now Fultz gets win, and Wynn drops the ball. Whoops. Careful, Jackie. Been around a long time, Jackie. We don't do anything silly now. Once again, the Sox are down. Adler on the lead. That's the way the ball will go. But there's Another premiership. As Ian Aitken has said, they're 21st. And they have run out winners in a great grand final. A tough one. Relentless pressure. And a later coach, John Cale. But the final scores here at Football Park, Port Adelaide 11 goals, 15, 81, has defeated Norwood 9-9-63. Well, Peter Marker, what do you reckon? A superb game in uh, a real grand final, a tough, hard slog all day. And uh, you must pay great testimony to that man John Cale, what a tremendous performance. Three grand finals he's had in his short career. There's Brian Cunningham, the captain. And what a magnificent performance by the underdogs in day. Neil Baum and, and his crew. Well, full marks to Neil Baum. Halfway through the 1980 season, it looked as though they weren't even going to participate in the final series at all. But a magnificent latter half of the season got them into fifth spot. But it's very tough to win them from there. Nobody has yet done it. And of course they failed, but they only failed by 18 points. I'd like to ask Brian Cunningham to come forward to accept the Thomas Seymour Hill Trophy for the Premiership of 1980. Brian Cunningham. Thanks very much, Max. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the game. It was a great game to play in. Uh, consolations to Norwood. They're a terrific side, a great side, and well done to them. Thanks very much. Now the big moment for the, the winning side, the lap of honour. Greg Phillips up there with his captain, Bucky Cunningham. Four times the Gary medal winner, Russell Ebert. And what a proud moment it must be for him. 31 years of age, four medals, and still a brilliant footballer.